Hey guys and welcome to page 5 of my sketchbook and in this video I wanted to address a question which I keep seeing on comment sections and forums and things everywhere all over the interwebs um, and that is what do I do when I don't know what to draw? What do I draw when I don't know what to draw? What do I do when I don't have the motivation to draw? That kind of uh, question and basically as far as I can make out it all, all of these questions sum down to the same thing being uh, what do I do when I have creative block or a writer's block, artist block, whatever you want to call it, creative block. Um, when you sit down with a blank sheet of paper in front of you and a pencil in your hand and you just kind of stare at it and go, oh, I don't know what to do here. It's something that every single artist or creative type the world over in, since time in memoriam has had to deal with. Um, and there are things that you can do uh, to help. So what I did with this particular page was I literally I went into it without any thought. I didn't have any clue where I was going to go with it. I just started drawing. And that, as far as, that's the easiest method, method that I have found to get through that uh, creative block is to literally just put the pen to the paper and start drawing. And it really doesn't matter what you draw. You don't need to have a plan. You don't need to know. I'm going to draw uh, creatures. I'm going to do just doodles and stick men, like just lettering, whatever you want to do. Just as long as you've got your pencil on the paper and it is moving, then that's fine. And you will find, or certainly I find, is after I've started doing that, um, things start flowing. I start getting sort of a, a rhythm going with my uh, with my uh, drawing, the whatever I'm doing. Ultimately, I find that that's uh, the best way of pushing through creative block. Um, there are certain other things that you can do, and I'm going to try and address them in. Uh, some other techniques that I use in future videos uh, but in this particular one uh, like I say I'm just looking at putting the pencil on the paper and just going for it whatever comes out comes out um, and what you can also do with that is once you've got a few things down on the page again doesn't matter what they are um, start using the negative space from those images to try and um, push yourself to do something that maybe you wouldn't normally do so I'm starting off obviously I've started with something that I'm personally very comfortable with drawing these sort of wacky creature designs and then something that I will start to do and you'll, you'll see me start to do this shortly uh, is to use the negative space between those characters to govern the shape of the next one and it's a technique that I find is very useful for just kind of once I've broken through that seal of not being able to know what to draw, I can then start pushing myself into a slightly more um, confined position. So whilst I started with something that I'm comfortable with, suddenly I'm going to something which, whilst I'm still comfortable with the the techniques and the ideas that I'm going to be playing with, I'm I don't have the uh, space or the freedom to do it however I want. I've got a very set space with, with which to work. And I find that quite often helps with the uh, overall sketching session, I guess. So that's really, I guess, my first um, tip for if you're suffering from creative block is to literally just sit down and start drawing and just let whatever happens, happens. Even if you're just putting lines down on the paper, if you're just drawing letters and playing with that going over and over it doesn't matter what you use or anything as long as you get that pen or pencil onto the paper and start making lines then you'll find that uh, you'll break through that block and you'll you'll start um, start coming up with interesting ideas again so yeah that's like I say those are my tips or one some of my tips I will go into some other things that I've done in the past to try and push past creative block um, but that's basically all I wanted to say in this episode
It has been a little while since I last uh, recorded one of these, so apologise for that. I think it's maybe had uh, two weeks without uh, one of these sketchbook videos. Um, I <laughs> I have been working. I have I work away from home quite a lot. Uh, all over the country so I have to drive up and down the country and I can't really take all my recording studio and everything with me um, I can take sketchbooks and pens and pencils and paper and stuff with me but I can't really take all my cameras and editing software <laughs> and stuff and uh, that kind of thing so I haven't had a chance to upload anything really in the last two or three weeks I have done this week um, I have been home and I recorded a few episodes and I'm going to try and make sure that I've got a few extra videos for next week they will be scheduled throughout next week for next week I will also be without internet but for an entirely different reason I am in fact moving I am moving to be closer to my work so in theory I should be able to do these videos and work at the same time uh, that's the theory anyway um, but for the time being I don't know how long it's going to be until I have internet set up in uh, in my new place in my new digs so it might be be that there's a few weeks or so uh, that I am not putting out any videos. Um, I like I say I'm going to try next week to uh, to have a few videos like pre-scheduled, but that's all I'm going to be able to manage to do is next week. So hopefully um, I will be able to get the internet sorted within a week, but who knows how long it takes. I really, really don't know at the moment, I'm afraid. But yeah, that's all an exciting thing. And there's a few other things which are happening as a result of that. Um, so not only uh, will I have my own internet connection, which is something that I don't have at the moment. I'm currently working with a very, very poor connection speed. I think I get, for those of you who understand the numbers, I think I get about 4 megabytes download and about 0.4 upload at the best of times so quite a lot of my videos can take a very long time to upload so I'm, I'm rendered without computers when I am uploading um, but as a result of those upload speeds I also had to stop vlogging a while back because they were taking maybe 24 hours to upload in theory, as long as everything works out with this uh, new internet and everything that I'm getting, uh, I should be able to get back to vlogging and be able to have those videos upload in matters of minutes rather than matters of days, which would be nice. Um, but also does mean that I will be able to start live streaming as well, which is something that I have wanted to do for a very, very long time, is to uh, do uh, live streams of both digital work and traditional work and whatever I happen to be working on at that moment in time, be it commissions, be it whatever. So uh, I will be doing an announcement video for when those are going to start. Um, I will put that... Well, it'll go up on the channel probably at about the same time as the first stream goes live. So if you do want to pop across and say hi in the chat, it'll be over on Twitch, um, then you may do so. I think I have got a link in the description of this video to my Twitch channel, just in case you do want to hit the follow button uh, so you get an alert in your email rather than having to wait for a YouTube video to go out. But that's that's really it. That's, I think, everything that I wanted to cover in this video covered. Uh, gone through what's happening on this page. I think that's just coming to an end now. Um, some fairly interesting characters come out of that one. And, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it for this episode. So I have... I, I, I have? I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful to you. Um, I don't know whether there'll be a sketchbook video next week or the following weeks after that, but as soon as I do have internet back in my flat, then I will be uploading again. So, uh, yeah, again, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. And I'll see you in the next one.